Let me let me press play and see where they at with it. I'm heading. I'm going back in. It's freezing. Okay. Mom, it's me. Just wait. Right I went away. Oh, you know. Oh my you gosh! Like I have to rewind it. Right when I press play, I pop up. I thought you didn't pause it anyways. I did pause it because I was running through the business uh, majors. They didn't give us no music. It did sound like they had music. That was me accidentally rewinding because when I pressed play, girl, my face popped right up immediately. Girl, they running through us. So disrespectful. After all them days, we done came in with our suits and ties on. I need us to get some some appreciation. <laughs> and I wanted a beat to walk to. You wanted a what? A beat. Uh -huh. Give me a beat. Give me a tune. Look, Ma. Ready? Not her. It's me. Thank you so much. Wow. This is not how I imagined my graduation would be, but. I know. That's crazy. Hmm. Oh, now the music back. Girl, not, not they're playing the music now. And I'm gonna still pretend like I'm walking. <laughs> I graduated today. And I look a hot mess right now. This video is not, it's not really planned, honestly. Um, I don't even know where to start, like what to say. <sighs> I'm feeling like so overwhelmed, like so full, like I'm just feeling so emotional. Why? I don't know. I'm not gonna cry. Ooh, so today I graduated from the Great Bethune Cookman University. Um, I have a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Um, today is November 21st, 2020. I came to Cookman in um, 2016. Um, so I graduated in my four year span. I'm so grateful for that. Um, business administration major. It has been long and hard. Y'all, I literally did not go to bed until about 6.45 a.m. today. I had been so like full of emotions and I was so overwhelmed yesterday, y'all. And it's so crazy to believe that I'm done because I have been doing this for so long and I probably look a hot mess excuse my hair um I ain't got my nails done this is just me raw and just grateful for this journey I was blessed to be able to graduate in the midst of a pandemic not only me but girl I know you're not gonna cry shut up all right not only me but my class of 2020 peers um, congratulations to everyone who graduated. This semester has been so trying, just having to push through in the midst of life, just kicking your ass. It's just different because so much has happened. I have lost friends and family. I have, um, It's 
there's a lot of people who were able to make it this far and I still was able to oh my god Teleria I still was able to continue on my journey and I'm so grateful I'm so sorry I'm I'm not one of those people who want to get on social media and cry but I'm just so grateful because there's so many people who are even alive to see this day and rest in peace to some of the people who were supposed to graduate with me but couldn't and um, there's a lot of people I came in my freshman year with who didn't make it either or just couldn't continue on to get their degree and those are still some amazing people and some important people in my life I'm just very grateful because God has really been so present in my journey um, at Bethune-Cookman University and a lot of people talk trash about Bethune-Cookman about some of the things we've endured, but we have endured. Um, and I'm so grateful to be able to call myself an alumna from the school. Um, being a part of such a big legacy left behind from my founder and just such such history that is within that school embedded in that school I have become such a better person and I've never been a terrible person but coming to an HBCU has really given me such a different perspective of life I went to predominantly white schools growing up and my community was predominantly white. This is why I chose Bethune Cook University. I wanted that experience. I wanted to be around people like me. I wanted to learn about my history without having to dig for it completely. And I mean, everything's not gonna be spoon fed to you, don't get me wrong, but I learned so much. I went natural, never in a million years, but I have went natural. I thought my hair was just perfect permed and I didn't have terrible hair and this probably is like me rambling right now but this is just my heart talking right now I, I really have grown and become a woman at this school and I'm still growing and I'm just so grateful I love I love my life right now I'm so at peace and like I said these this past couple of days and weeks have been so overwhelming especially like I said life goes on like you're in the pandemic you you don't have access to a lot of things that you usually would some of some of us um you just gotta still survive and you still gotta handle your responsibilities and that's been the hard part about all of this is having to still persevere and survive with everyday things all while trying to graduate and it all paid off I'm so grateful. Um, like I said, this is me just coming to y'all real and raw. I'm sorry I was crying. My edges is not laid. My hair is not slayed, honey. But by the time y'all see me again, I'm going to have a wig on. Because my hair has just flourished. And I've just been letting it live its best life. But it's time for it to go back under that wig, that dome cap. Yes. Today I'm going to get lit. That's what I really came on here to say. I deserve it, y'all. I deserve I deserve, I deserve this whole week, this whole, this next chapter of my life. I'm, I'm just so happy to be able to say that I'm done. And I'm not saying I'm never going to continue on my, my education, but right now I need this break. I need this break. Honestly, I have, I have gone all gas, no breaks, and I deserve to celebrate, travel, drink a little shake a little booty something i'm just so happy because this weight it seems to be lifted like i'm so grateful 
if you are a graduate within this pandemic, congratulations to you, um, to the incoming freshmen at Bethune-Cookman University. I am so sorry that you guys had to experience college in a pandemic. Nobody has ever experienced what we have experienced these this past year. Um, I know it may seem like a waste. I know it may seem like it's just no point and I, I get it because I was blessed to be able to have a different experience coming in as a freshman than you guys, and it's kind of unfair. Um, but right now, I'm just being optimistic at the fact that even though I wasn't able to celebrate as I wanted, I couldn't have a graduation party. I couldn't, I couldn't even do nothing for my birthday. Like 2020 has been a complete shut down for me and I'm just still grateful to be alive because some people didn't live to have a birthday or live to see a graduation so I'm just grateful and I'm going to celebrate with my many other successes in life and I'm going to carry on and press on and I'm just gonna get to the bag get happy get get full of life like I'm just so grateful so yeah I'm just I just can't believe I'm done um I'll be doing a senior advice video for you guys soon. Um, like I said, when I look decent and I'm not crying, you might cry then. What the hell is up with this emotional stuff? I'm a real nigga. I do real things. I usually cry behind the scene and come out and shake it off. But like, this was crazy. And I'm just so excited to be able to focus now on what I truly want to do and putting out more content. I know I have not posted videos in like month gaps. Um, I've been trying to graduate, like, and I'm done, so I'm so happy. Like, y'all don't understand the stress it takes to be able to say, I'm done. And I had to put the work in to be done. So, I'm sorry I had to abandon y'all to get my life together and to, um, accomplish this milestone. But one step at a time, and I did it, and I'm so happy that I'm now able to focus on all the things that truly, truly matter to me. So... God bless everyone. God bless all of those 2020 COVID-19 graduates, the class of COVID-19. God bless everybody who has lost someone in the midst of trying to survive in this pandemic. God bless everyone, period. Especially with the presidency we are ending with right now. So we all need God's blessings. But this is just the update for y'all. This is where I've been going. And um, more to come. I'm so excited, so happy. Love you guys, and I hope all is well. T-Lo is signing out.